What's up everybody, it's your host Marquise and you're watching MDG Entertainment. Today, I will be giving y'all guys my top five favorite anime of all times. Now, the rules about my top five favorite anime, uh, animes four and five can definitely change. I don't think top three will ever change, that's just me. But anyway, let's hop right into it. Coming in at number five, Code Geass. Code Geass was a fucking amazing anime. And the, and the reason why I'm so shocked that I like Code Geass because I'm not a mech anime fan. I think the last anime besides before seeing Code Geass that I watched was Big O. And uh, that's a blast from the past. Fucking Big O who remembers that. But anyway, uh, Code Geass told an amazing story. I was kind of turned off a little bit at first because the character design was very, very um, they, everybody had the same shaped body. I just thought that was amazing. But the storytelling, like, was top tier. And they actually changed the game. And we see a lot of uh, current animes now kind of mimicking their storytelling. All of my Code Geass fans know what I mean by it. But Lelouch is probably one of the most iconic anime characters. Just from how smart he is. It's, um this power that gives him absolute control over somebody that is absolutely insane. And the sacrifice that he made for his friends in the entire world. This man need a fucking day after him or some shit like that. Like, y'all gotta agree with me. Coming in at number four, Attack on Titan. This doesn't need any explanation at all. Attack on Titan is one of the biggest fucking animes out right now. It is making noise. It's making more noise than a goddamn rumbling this Sunday. You understand me? Attack on Titan is not taking anime into mainstream. It's not easing anime into mainstream. No, it is taking fucking anime opening it up your mouth and shoving it down your fucking throat because Attack on Titan is here to dominate and that's exactly what it is. Um, I don't even know where to start with my love for Attack on Titan come from. Eric, love him. Mikasa, love him. Fucking Armin, love him. I love everybody in Attack on Titan besides fucking Gabby. Fuck Gabby to the day I die. Do you understand me? <laughs> like, but Attack on Titan storytelling is amazing and I'm, I'm an action guy don't get me wrong the action and the fights in attack on titan is actually very cool very unique um but attack on titan storytelling is kind of similar to cold geass that's probably why i like it so much but i think they did it better um and that's no that's no like you know downplay the cold geass or anything like i just feel like it like attack on titan did it better and i've read the manga so i'm not giving any manga spoilers but just to see these character developments throughout the season like you had aaron in season one who who did not want to murder anybody he literally was sickened by the fact that they had to do hand-in-hand -hand combat he was like we're never going to fight people what is this for he was sickened at the fact that levi commander Irwin, was using people as pawns just to keep him alive. He didn't want that to happen. Skip forward a couple of seasons. Now he's talking about genocide. So it's like the the 180 these characters take is absolutely amazing Attack on Titan. And I honestly think um, it is changing the way how people look at shonen anime. Shonen anime have always been a little bit on the teenager superhero friendly side i know we had a couple of you know shonen animes that don't fit that description like death note and things like that but attack on titan really really make you look at shonen in a different light and it's good it's good it's, it's showing people that shonen uh the, these artists who's you know getting their work produced by shonen can bring more to the table than just you know uh courageous hero who fights and believes in his dreams and can protect everybody and don't have to kill nobody like no they put Aaron in a situation to where it's like it's either you or them pick one and he really has to pick one there's no way around it and the conversations that this anime opens up in the real world about morality and shit like that is insane to me so attack on titan coming in at number 
coming in in that sweet, sweet number three spot, JoJo's, baby. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is absolute, it's close to peak fucking fiction <laughs> because, like, the character designs are all dope. The animation is dope. The fucking action in there is dope. The storytelling is the way how they tie everything together is amazing. The fucking um, drip is amazing. The power system stands. Stands is probably one of the most unique powers uh, I've seen in anime in a long, long time. And I, I kick myself in the butt every time I think about JoJo's and how much I love it. Because if y'all guys remember, you know, last year, a year or two ago, I didn't give JoJo's the time of day. I didn't even like JoJo's. Like somebody recommended me to watch JoJo's and I was like, yeah, no, fuck that shit. I'm never watching that. That seems such a shit, bro. And now I'm just like, JoJo. Like I get it now. I, I get the fucking hype. So JoJo's take that top three spot. I honestly, I can't think of any bad things to say about JoJo. No, I can think of one, I can think of one. The first season, is very, very hard to get past. I, I think the first season is the only bad season I am friend, in my opinion. Coming in that sweet, sweet second spot, Death Note. Death Note was probably my top favorite anime for a while, but uh, obviously y'all know who took number one. Um, but anyway, Death Note, I started watching Death Note as a kid, and I picked it back up as I got older. I can better understand the story and follow the story and follow what was going on. And I quickly fell in love with that. Uh, Light is an amazing character. I love the way how you see him go from trying to do the right thing into, a, you know, all of that power falling in a teenage boy hand. Obviously, God Complex immediately kicked in. And it, it, it don't help that Light already had a God Complex because he was smart, he was handsome, everybody wanted him, uh, everybody expected great things. And he, he achieved all of his goals. And just him having that much power just immediately went to his head. And just seeing all of this stuff play out between him and L, oh my God, L was like the perfect protagonist, bro. I mean, antagonist because Light would be he was like the perfect antagonist. He was just as smart as Light. He was probably smarter. Now, I know that whole, I don't want to get into that debate, but a lot of people speculate that Light was actually smarter. Um, and just to, just to see them have this battle, like, Death Note was so intense, but it was hardly any actual, like, action like that, that we've seen from Shonen. You know, with your the fairies, your wizards, your max animes, your your uh your super powered beings. No, these are two people battling it out with their mind. Like a fucking big game of chess and everybody points to them. It was insane. Absolutely love it. And Ryuk is just fucking amazing. 10 out of 10 characters. And in the number one spot, who sits on top of Mount Olympus, king of the motherfucking hill, if you ask me perfect anime the one who have no flaws is naruto the entire fucking series og and shippuden naruto it, it, it holds a, a special spot in my heart man uh obviously bias grew up with naruto um was there for me as a pretty dark time i didn't have friends like i watched naruto over and over and over, over and over again multiple fucking um, I love damn near all the characters in Naruto. Even the ones you people clown on like Sakura and Eno and Tintin. I love all of them. I fucking love all of them. Hell, I even love Donzo to an extent because it fucking hell, without Donzo, we wouldn't have had half of the epic shit we had. Even though he was a piece of shit, fuck Donzo. <laughs> but even Donzo was fucking amazing, man. But everybody knows my favorite, favorite character to come out of the series is Madara. Uh, I love Naruto so much and I give it the number one spot because it teaches some life lessons. Never give up on your dreams. Don't care about what people say. No, many, no matter how many times you fail, you just have to get up and keep trying again and again and again until you 
fucking dead in the ground. Because when you're dead, that's it. That's just the end of your story. So you might as well give it 100% while you alive. And that is it, people. That is my top five favorite anime of all time. If y'all enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, please share, interact with this video as much as possible. So I know that at least a few of you on my channel like video like this. So also, I y'all know I want to know y'all top five favorite animes as well. So go ahead and drop those in the comment sessions below and I'll catch y'all later.